What's up, guys? It's Eli and friends. We're back with another video, and today. Shut up. Eli, where's we my Harry Potter wand? Hey, introduce okay. yourself. Eli, where's my Harry Potter wand? Ooh, his Harry Potter wand. Where is that? <laughs> Check South Carolina Comic Con blog to see. I don't need to introduce myself, but they're fans. They already know who I am. Psych! Back at it again. It's Tunze. How you doing? It's uh, Man Mature. Haven't been here since the year. I haven't been here since Tokyo. This is Kamara. It's my first video. <laughs> but we just saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It's pretty much a love letter to 80s or 70s, 60s cinema and the time, like, the movie takes place around the 60s, 70s. It's just, uh, like, it's a love letter to cowboy movies and everything else that came out during that era, for the most part. It takes, it's two best friends, one's an actor, a really good actor that's going Played past by his a prime, real good actor, who's going still, past his prime, like in real life. And his uh, body double, pretty much, and it's just their story during this era. Mm-hmm. And who wanna give their opinion about the movie first? I will. I thought it was great. I loved it. Uh if if you're expecting like I don't wanna if you're expecting what everyone knows Tarantino ish type movies, you're gonna get disappointed. It's it's more of a it's It's a story, bro. It's a story. They wanted to tell a story about this era and I think they did a really fantastic job. There's not too much action. There's like a lot of- barely, not playing. There's, there's enough of it. There's enough action, but if you're expecting Django, Kill Bill, yeah, don't uh, go and bullet that. bullet blows up your whole head, you're, <laughs> nah. Uh, it's a really fantastic movie. I thought it was amazing, and I'd probably come watch it again with like, my mom's fiance since he grew up with cowboy movies and stuff he has a better perspective on it I guess I'll give my opinion about this movie I really enjoyed this movie I was hyped for this movie since the very uh, beginning since they announced it I'm glad it's more of like I'm actually glad Tarantino didn't just go all back crazy like you usually do in most movies because like we have a bunch of action movies I think he probably realized that too he wanted to tell a story because like if you want to see an action movie an action movie comes out every week am I right? So like, just see a story one, and then like Leonardo DiCaprio in this movie. Leonardo DiCaprio, he's he's my favorite actor. He does this good man, in every movie. This man does. killed it. This man, this man was acting as an actor, and killed that. Like, come on. And then Brad Pitt. I, I'm never really been that big of a fan of Brad Pitt, but I really like them in this. Cliff, I really like Cliff. You like Cliff? I like Cliff. Yeah, Cliff is a Cliff's a really, really good character. I like his dog too. The dog. I like. Stole the show. I like Margaret Robbie too. Margaret Robbie, she's wife. I like her too. Why did she have a big part in this movie? Yeah, she was kind of separate, but yeah, I liked her parts and everything and stuff. And I really like the filter over the movie. You notice that? Like they had like a 70s uh, filter over it. I like it. the flashbacks. Yeah. yeah, I like the flashbacks too. I like how the movie was set up. It wasn't like a linear timeline. It would go straight and then go back and then keep going straight from that point. You know what I mean? I like yeah. it. Yeah. And then That's another thing I really like too is like, this movie is funny, right? Well, it was more of like a dark type of humor. No, like, it, was, it, was it was funny. Like, it was funny. No, like, it was no, funny. no, no, what I'm saying, no, no, movies, let, let me finish, let me finish though. What I'm saying, the dark humor is where I'm saying, if you get offended, you you probably won't laugh at some of these jokes because this movie was racist, let's be honest. Well, yeah, it, it was a little racist. Time. Yeah, but like, you know, some people get offended. It was racist as hell in the 60s. Yeah, but like, you I mean, know, like, people, so don't watch it if you get offended. There were literally was no was, black people in this movie. Everything that was, there was a few. Yeah. Every, everything that we're saying was said during the 60s. Yeah, it Wait, was. We're just seeing black people. What? I thought it was a good movie. You thought it was a good movie? Some point, some point threw me off a little bit. Mm. Look, I was. Getting, I got confused as shit. Th during the middle, I did get a little bit bored, but it started a little up bit, a little bit more. Yeah, about, just a little bit. Yeah, you're right about that. Just a little bit. I like how half when you get to the half of the movie, it's like an anxiety, not a. Uh, yeah, anxiety trip. You're like, bro, I don't know what's about to happen. Like, you feel like something's gonna happen, and it take a while for it to happen. But when it happens, it happens. If you go see this movie, um, it's good in the beginning. Gets boring during the middle. You know, enhances still without you know 
So you can't, you can't expect the action movie. Yeah, it's not an action movie. Exactly. All right, back. So, yeah. The air, the acting, everyone enjoyed The it. acting was really great. Like, the acting was like a 9 out of 10. From Leonardo, everybody else was trash. What? No, <laughs> I'm, jo- I'm, joking. Joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm like, joking. Like, this is probably my favorite Brad Pitt role. Every Brad Pitt movie, he gets shirtless. And? Daddy. Oh, Daddy. God. What is wrong with people? <laughs> oh. So yeah, I recommend everyone to see it, but like don't come in expecting an action movie. Don't oversaturate yourself. I can see older people uh, liking this movie more than like uh, people our age because they just expect it's action. It's their time. Yeah. I grew up with some Yeah, but like I said most nights. Nice, uh, Not to say most, you know what I mean? Like you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So yeah, I recommend to see it. I give this movie two thumbs up. I really enjoyed this movie. This yeah, you I really enjoy a lot of I, No, like I really enjoyed this movie. I really enjoyed it. I probably, I'm probably going to watch it again and you'll appreciate it the second time. And yeah. And it'll make you want to look up the uh, Manson uh, family and learn more about that too, as well. If you're so, white, you already know. So yeah, I recommend it. Anything else you got to say? I gave it a two thumbs up. I, it wasn't my favorite Tarantino movie, but it was, it was close. It was up there. You know what else is up there? Peace out. These nuts. Uh,